<laughs> I am curious though, you, you're doing all this and it, it's all comedy all the time. Yeah. And then, and I don't know what the, the transitional phase is, but. There's no transition. They shouldn't have given me, they shouldn't have put me on Breaking Bad. I, I did nothing to earn how, it. How did that come nothing. about? Nothing. I didn't audition for were, it. Okay, were you. Were didn't you didn't audition for no. it? Were no. you concerned that it was going to be a dramatic role? That you would have to actually do serious acting? I wasn't that concerned about, I was more concerned, and I'm being serious, that I would show up on set and they would go, oh, oh, shit. Who did? What's your name again? <laughs> oh, you're Bob Odenberg? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, just uh, hang out at the hotel. We're going to get you. Back didn't read to for you. it at all. Not at all. Wow. Uh, I, I was genuinely concerned that I would land and I would be told there's another Bob Odenkirk. He went to <laughs> Juilliard. He's a fucking great actor. I'm so sorry. We should have checked the names and, uh, what? you know. Yeah, seriously. Because I didn't do anything to deserve that role in that context. Uh, I hadn't really done, had I done any drama, I mean, that I can think of, not really. Um, so I think part of it was that uh, on Breaking Bad, you know, the character probably was perceived as comic relief. And they knew Mr. Show really well. They loved Mr. Show, the writers of Breaking Bad. And they watched a lot of it in the writer's room. And, and they also probably thought that, uh, they thought, I think, that the, um, Saul wouldn't last very long. He'd be like three Did episodes. Did they have a role for David, too? And never got David in there. I'm sure he's mad about that. <laughs> oh, well. Did you have any uh, influence on the writing as you got more comfortable with it? Um, not really, no. I mean, I didn't want any influence. I love what they did so much. And I also became very aware very quickly. You know, I got this first script and it had Saul, you know, yammering away. Just he talks so much, that character. And I thought, I almost started rewriting, you know, like just crossing stuff out and putting changes in. Like, oh, what if you did this? What if? And I realized now, no, this is a drama. I don't know these guys. What if I tried to be an actor? What if I, an actor would get this, I think, and just do what they wrote. And, and that would be his job, would be to do that. So when you first looked at it, you were kind of trying to put your spin on it. Or yeah, yeah, because just how I would treat it. anything right. that yeah. I'd done in through my whole career. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I had the pen out. I probably made a note or two. And I remember thinking, no, this is acting. And it isn't an actor. An actor gets a script, and they don't change it. They, that's why that's their part. So I wonder if I could do that. So let's try to do that. Let's try to do this thing exactly as written, like exactly, like to the comma. Mm -hmm. Like, because, you know, Saul says things in strange constructions sometimes. That's how it's written. Right. I probably got it to, like, I want to say 95%, 98%. Like, I really... Tried. The only time I affected the show was in uh, Better Call Saul and in the later seasons when I would feel the confidence to knowing the character to say to Peter Gould, you know, um, maybe he does this or why does he say it that way or would he? Then I felt like I wasn't stepping on this thing or, or even wanting it to be. I don't want it to be me. I want it to be this other person. And um, it was... Um, it was strange, but the thing is, I had. It, it, it's like that action movie that I did, Nobody. It's so like I awesome. had nothing riding on it. If that didn't mm -hmm. work, so what? I never said I wanted to be an action right. star. I, if 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 Saul didn't work, I you asked me to do it. I I didn't go around but spending guessing, years knocking on doors, going, "Please put me in drama." Yeah. You know, I didn't do any plays. I didn't. I I, I never. I, I had nothing at stake, really. I mean, obviously... Did it make it more fun? For sure. Way more fun. Because there's no pressure? Or no, it's no real... Pr there's no big pressure. Right. You know, there's no, like, universal pressure yeah. of, like, come on, you said you were funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you got all those Emmys. <laughs> Let's but see it. From the outside, it seems that you were 
maybe not going to have such a big role. And then yeah. the, the response must have been great seeing you on there and, and just yeah. working with you. So then they're like, I All think right, the show also was so bleak. At some yep. point in that show, very yep. quickly when I was there, I had any character I was talking to, they were <laughs> gonna die. They're gonna die. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> I'm the only, I'm like the only or, character. Or get put through the most traumatic experience yeah. of anyone's life. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Every single Every person, person they yeah. were talking yeah. to, including, you know, uh, Skylar, you know, right. like, uh, and my character's like, well, I guess if yeah, all I'll, you guys die, I still get I'll this defend you. Nothing changes for me. Nothing. I get to keep if, if the money. If something goes bad, I'm going to call this one guy and he's going to change my identity. And <laughs> I'll, I'll be anonymous. At what point uh, it, during or after Breaking Bad do they approach you about Better Call Saul? Oh, we, you know, people joked about it. Uh, look at this. David Cross is calling me. Nice. Um, Answer it. Nah, Answer it. I should have. Oh, you want me to call, call him back? I don't call him back. I'll put him on the speaker. <laughs> I love David Cross. <laughs> yes, I know. This is so funny. I, I've told this story before, but in the first scene I do with Walter White in Saul's office, um, I must have been, you know, I don't know, fifth or sixth take or something, and I finished my little spiel, which was actually pretty long, and uh, the director said, cut, and one of the cameramen said, can I get a job on the sequel? And everyone laughed. Oh wow! You know, the song. But they already they already had the show written no. with an ending. No, I'm no, talking about I'm Breaking the, Bad at that point. No, 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 no. This no. is the second season of Breaking Bad. Oh wow! Okay. I'm just invited. My character's really only there, mm -hmm. as I understand it, initially, to get the story to evolve. But like, they were in a corner. They were stuck. Right. There was something going to happen with um, Badger. Badger, and but also with. Uh, Jesse's girlfriend, what's her name? Jane. Jane. Uh, and they knew they needed Saul to help get the body, get rid of the body. Now, he doesn't help, but they were going to have Saul do that. But I had to go do How I Met Your Mother. So they had to create the character of Mike, but they also said that made a lot more sense because Saul oh, would wow. never move a body. And, and so it was a bit of happenstance all along the way that they had me, I could, to get this story point to move forward, because mm -hmm. they were kind of cornered, and then I think they just realized, I mean, I don't want to speak for them, but I'm going to take a guess that the degree to which Saul was kind of, you know, he could laugh and joke mm -hmm. was helpful to a but, show but that it, was it, this. There must have been something in the air when you, you said you did this line and you did this performance. Well, I think it was a long monologue yeah. and I did it well. And that was like, okay. Uh, but also, yes, it had a new, it had a vibe that yeah. probably he responded to. And he said, can I get a job on the sequel? And everyone laughed. And uh, and then people talked about it almost as a joke for the all the time, including Vince Gilligan, Pretty much once a year on Breaking Bad, he'd pull me aside and say, do you think there's a, a show in Saul? Wow. Because I think there might be. And Are I you going to say no? Well, I would always say, because I know what it's like to have um, actors needing you to do something. <laughs> I would always say, if you think there's a show, then there's probably a show. Yeah. And that's as far as I would go. Yeah, I yeah. would never say I need it, I want right. it, please do that. I never counted on it, I didn't think about it. Because I do my own stuff and it's not, the business is full of needy people and I don't, <laughs> I don't really want to be one of them.